Hey folks, welcome to this edition of the Microsoft Cloud News Update, researching the cloud blogs so you don't have to. I'm Carl Kischel. For this week, we have a couple of updates regarding Azure Purview, some new APIs for Microsoft Teams with time clock integration, how to beautify your power apps, a Microsoft 365 virtual marathon, and much more. So with that, let's jump right into it. Azure Purview resource set pattern rules are now available in public preview. So if you're not familiar with Azure Purview, this is also in public preview as we speak. That is a new tool within Microsoft Azure that allows you to do data discovery within your environment. Azure Purview covers data discovery across multiple systems. They could be on premises, in the cloud, and so on. And it does this data discovery to allow you to do data management, data um, governance, uh, et cetera. So within Azure Purview, we're a set of uh, patterns and uh, not all the time would the patterns collect particular data within your environment because of the patterns may be different from your environment for your needs, uh, et cetera. So with this new resource set patterns rules, you can create your own rules to allow Azure Purview to capture all the data across your, your multiple systems within your environment. So check out these tools for more enhancements regarding Azure Purview. We have a roadmap update regarding Microsoft Teams and a new API for time clock integration. So this allows you the ability to create rules around a time clock check-in and uh, making a prerequisite perhaps around um, a particular scenario within Microsoft Teams. So that could be maybe a health attestation or some other check-in that has to occur before time clock can be checked in through a particular employee. So this is currently in development. However, it is slated for release this month. Check out the link for more info. How to beautify your Power Apps. So I found this particular blog post pretty interesting. A lot of you are familiar with Power Apps. If not, there is some uh, more detailed description. So Power Apps allow you to create no-code, low-code applications within the Microsoft platform. And uh, this particular blog post goes over some enhancements on how to use the new Fluid UI icons to just enhance the appearance of your Power App. So it goes through what these icons uh, are and how to implement them throughout your application, some best practices around UI and just general look and feel of your particular app, and uh, also how to employ pop-ups to make your apps more meaningful within the Power App platform. So definitely check out this link for more best practices and info on how to make your Power Apps look better. Microsoft 365 Virtual Marathon 2021. So this is a free online training event regarding everything Microsoft 365. So there are over 300 plus sessions given by product group members within Microsoft on a variety of topics. So this is a great way to interact with the Microsoft product group, product teams, and get ramped up with some latest and greatest knowledge regarding Microsoft 365. So it's over a three-day event beginning April 26th through 28th. And as you scroll through the link, you get a chance to kind of purview all the particular keynotes and sessions that will be provided within the marathon. So lots of great information uh, and also some roadmaps if you wanted to build your knowledge around what's coming and what's new regarding Microsoft 365 and all the different capabilities of the platform definitely check out this online marathon. Here we have an higher education tech summit for students. And this is an online series. It's a collection of events happening next month, May and June of 2021. And these are particular seminars given by Microsoft product group members uh, around a variety of topics, which include coding, artificial intelligence, uh, infrastructure, security, automation, uh, et cetera. So a lot of great content here. The really neat thing about this student series and these events is that students 
uh, upon successful completion or participation in these online events will be eligible for free certification through Pearson on a variety of Microsoft topics. So definitely check out the link for more info. Setup Assistant with Modern Auth for automated device enrollment for both iOS-based devices and Mac OS devices. So this is part of Intune, also known as Microsoft Endpoint Manager. It's a public preview, which uh, leverages some modern authentication methods to automate device enrollment for iOS devices, such as iPads, iPhones, and also MacBooks or Mac OS based devices. So this blog post gets into all the details on how ADE works with modern authentication and um, basically walking you through the out of box experience and uh, doing the enrollment through that out of box experience and the endpoint management platform. So check out the link for more info on this preview. And last but not least, some new settings in Outlook to give everyone a break between meetings. So if you're familiar with scheduling meetings within Outlook, you know, there are defaults for 30 minutes and one hour, et cetera. So those are pretty much the, uh, the typical and default meeting settings. So through some Microsoft research and uh, employee investigation and feedback uh, based on this recent research, you know, there's a lot of uh, tedious, it's tedious to have black back-to-back -back meetings, uh, especially if they go 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 60 minutes, etc. So what this blog post covers are some um, PowerShell applications that an admin can run against their environment to give everyone some um, relief on meeting settings. So what it does, it changes the default meeting lengths. For example, a typical half hour meeting back a couple minutes to uh, 25 minutes. So if you were to schedule a meeting at 10 o'clock um, and make it a half hour, it actually only schedule it from 10 o'clock to 1025. And also one hour meetings, um, instead of being a full hour would just be 45 minutes. So those are some examples you can uh, deploy, but you do have the flexibility of changing the parameters and make it start early, end early, and changing the length of these meetings. So a lot of great detail here, and it's a great way in this new virtual world we're all living in and with these virtual meetings to kind of provide some relief between meetings. So check out the blog post for more info. That concludes this edition of the Microsoft Cloud News Update. If you like this video, please give us a like, thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified for future updates, uh, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you have any feedback regarding this series, I could be found on LinkedIn or Twitter, or feel free to send a comment to me via the comment section. Appreciate your time this week and wish you well, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.